the block with the shock value. It's the NBA on 2K Sports. Glad you're here with us tonight for this Monday night presentation. Hi, everyone. This is Kevin Harlan with Chris Weber and Greg Anthony, and our sideline reporter, David Aldridge. We've got the Los Angeles Lakers facing the New Orleans Pelicans. Pass to Erickson. The basket good off the assist from Chamberlain. And of all the attributes, one thing that sometimes gets overlooked with Chamberlain is the court vision. Makes a great read there. Last break, the Lakers. It's stolen by Adams. Oh, the power on that through down. This is what many fans came here to see. Williamson and his size with his speed. So unique in his style, his grace is unbelievable. Here's Baylor, who's back up. It's up and it's off the mark. He's over one. Here's Williamson. His shot is good, making him a perfect two for two from the floor. Williamson with the elite ability to finish off contact. And it's just not the strength, it's the body control. Now that's how you lead your teammate into an easy scoring chance. I love that assist. Up top, Adams. Williamson outside. Outside, ball. Pass to Chamberlain. Chamberlain goes up. Chamberlain dunks it down. And guys, the thing about Will, he says he runs the 40 and 4-4. That's elite wide receiver speed. But don't forget, the guy's 7 feet tall and close to 300 pounds. Chamberlain lays it up and banks it in. He's got some toughness up tonight. I wonder what he had to eat last night. I mean, very solid first quarter for him at the offensive end. Ball with the bucket. Good at getting into the lane. Ball. I mean, you can see how confident he is on the drive. And so it's West with it. He brings it up for Los Angeles. And their post play has been really solid right off the bat. Los Angeles shooting their first free throw of the night. And just under two and a half minutes elapsed here in the first. Outside, ball. Over in the corner, Williamson. And that one clearly a foul. Gets the whistle and two shots coming up. We're not used to seeing a guy as big as Williamson with that quick of a first step. First trip to the line for him here. That misses, so he splits the free throws. Offensive rebound. Chamberlain down low. Another shot. And the call on the shot. It sends him to the line. Steven Adams picks one up. Nice work to get it inside and draw the contact. Chamberlain hits them both. First quarter of play. We're about three minutes in. And first time out of the game called for New Orleans. Pelicans trail by four. Bledsoe outside. Here's the lob to Adams. Throws down the alley-oop slam. And ball goes up and Adams comes down. The anticipation skills. Knows where to be to finish that play. Ingram with the steal. He lobs it up. Mr. Williamson. Outside for Bledsoe. Hauled in by the chairman of the board. And you don't want to give up that kind of look too often. Baylor with the ball. A nice passing here by Los Angeles. Here's Chamberlain. 
they double team Chamberlain. Five on the clock. Oh, and here comes Bledsoe all alone. Ingram's length and activity paying off. Great transition defense to off. West inside. Chamberlain's shot is off. And Adams has got the ball here for the Pelicans. Outside for Bledsoe. Second chance shot. Right side, ball. And out of bounds as the Lakers gain possession. Thirty-six seconds left in the first quarter. Here's Erickson from deep. Misses his second shot and four attempts from the field. Pass to Ingram. Kicks it out to Williamson. And too much time in the lane. They get called for the three-second violation. There's 21 seconds left to play here in the first. Now Baylor. Yes, that goes in. And what's unique about Baylor, he can score from a variety of angles and really good off of either shoulder. Just great extension and body control. He is a fantastic athlete for a power forward. Whatever he lacks in height, he makes up for it with hops. And here's West for three. Drills it from outside. And that's what you get when you combine the range and just his overall confidence. Mr. Outside. Good if it goes. A free-flowing first quarter. Great scoring through one. Lakers. And taking a look at Los Angeles' performance here, what have they been doing or not doing? Well, when you control the glass, you control the second-chance opportunities on both ends. They've been quicker to the ball, showing great anticipation and terrific hustle. Williamson left side. Ingram outside. It's good from long range. Ingram's got the second quarter going with the first basket of the period for New Orleans. On the sideline, let's catch up with Hall of Famer David Aldridge. Hey, Kevin. Thanks very much. Well, Stephen Adams could be the league's most physical presence. All-star Jimmy Butler said that he is just so strong. Butler says he hit me with a screen, and I thought my life was over. Adams said his strength doesn't help with flopping. The refs are like, get up. Guys, he has a sense of humor about it, and maybe that's a counterbalance to his great physical gifts. You're right, D.A., he is strong. Thanks for that report. Baylor. Elgin Baylor gets the bucket and absorbs some content. No clue how he got that one to fall. Los Angeles shooting their fourth attempt at the free throw line right here. And, you know, beyond all the things Baylor gives you, he's an entertainer out on the floor. The acrobatics we see, something spectacular from this guy almost every game. Back to Adams. And Adams with the slam. And we've seen several lead changes tonight. Neither team giving an inch. It's a seesaw battle. Both teams are pretty evenly matched, and the score reflects that. And so the ball's out of bounds. Ingram touched it last. And the Lakers call time here. about a minute and a half into the second quarter now and it's West missing New Orleans in the lead and out of bounds as Los Angeles gains possession I mean come on fellas keep your head in the game I mean that pass should have been basic inside and Chamberlain with the stuff and that's just too easy the size strength length no way to stop Chamberlain once he gets the ball in that close to Ingram. Baylor with the steal. 
That's a stomach punch, guys. Mm. Turn it over and give him a free run to the bucket. Oh, you're so right. No question who has the momentum now. Oh, exactly right. Momentum shifting plays like that can change the tone of a game. That one goes in. Able to keep his balance even while getting hit. I mean, ball absorbs contact very well. Pass to Erickson. Shoots a three. It's rebounded by New Orleans. Last game matched up with the Clippers. A tough loss there. Painful to watch, guys. You could see their frustrations mounting, unable to get into any kind of a rhythm whatsoever. And sometimes you have games like that, but you just got to shrug it off and move on to the next one. Probably as close to a sure thing as you can have at the free throw line. Back to West. From past the arc. And it's Ingram with the rebound. And the Pelicans with the possession. Chamberlain high above the rim for the rebound. And pushing it up. Here's Los Angeles. Stolen by Bloodsoe. And now Ball pushing it up. No one back to stop him. And it's been this way all night. When Bledsoe gets into a groove, he can be prolific. Oh, that's a well-deserved assist. Not every player has the vision to make that thing. And the dunk by Williamson. That's just the product of good pass work. I mean, nice team basketball right there. Back to West. To the middle. Here's Baylor. No good that time. And New Orleans will go the other way with it. And a fast break now for the Pelicans. They get the rebound. Chamberlain with the block. And the quickness off the floor, the insane reach. Well, one of the greatest shot blockers you'll ever see. They are just killing them on the interior. And stolen by Williamson. Here's Ingram. And slam dunk by Ingram. Well, they weren't going to pass up that chance to get out and run following the steal. West outside. Pass to Chamberlain. The shot's good on the assist by West. Chamberlain got six points in the quarter. But, but here's the problem. Now, no one's got the strength to move Will off his spot, and no one has the height to challenge the shot at its point of release. Now, here's Ball. He's got six. And boy, has he picked it up since the start of the second. His shot's now starting to fall. On the wing, Goodrich. Three-pointer. Gets the three-pointer to fall. You know, maybe he's not one of the elite sharpshooters, but even still, that's not a shot the D can afford to give him. Fifteen seconds left to play here in the half. And here is Ingram. He's got seven. And slam dunk by Ingram. Young legs. Ingram getting off the ground for the deep react. Back to West. That will count. And no luck with that time on the buzzer beater. And the tempo, they're going to be very tough to stop. Don't go anywhere. We'll be right back. And we're halfway through this one. Plenty of basketball left in a game that's been fairly even so far. Ball with it. West with the steal. Intelligent defense. He reads the play. Gets himself in the perfect position to come up with the steal. I tell you what, they won't be down for long if they can get some more early offense like that. No good from Bloodsoe. Man, when the ball's in his hands, that's as high percentage as it gets. It's just a fluke miss. Great teamwork punctuated by a strong finish. Perfect example of how to run the break the right way and get a great look. Now, here's Ball. He's got eight. And foul on the shot, so he'll get a chance at the line. 
Will Chamberlain picks one up. Well, he's an all-around player. Lonzo's combination of size and playmaking ability in his position is truly unique. Timeout called the Lakers. And team strategies closely guarded. One aspect of the game, the fans aren't always good. Lakers trail by four. West outside. Will takes it up. And Adams sends it back. Adams puts every ounce of energy into his defense. He's not out there to contest shots. He's out there to reject them. Wow, that is just pretty right there. What a find for his teammate at the rim. So it's the Lakers now after Eric Bledsoe's score. And that's the battle they haven't been winning today. Their work on the glass has been porous, and that's got to change. Ingram is so rangy. Hard to affect his shot without foul. For New Orleans, they have shot five of six at the foul line tonight. Old free throws, good for Ingram. And so it's West with it. He brings it up for Los Angeles. Eight-point game. That's to Goodrich. Let's the three fly. Good on the triple. Goodrich has got six points. And so in control of the game. West keeping the defense off balance with that pass. The drive-by ball. And Adams with the slam. You can make the case. This is Ball's best skill. A phenomenal passer in the pick and roll. Outside Baylor. Pass to Goodrich. And again, Los Angeles with the triple. Yeah, the D with very little pressure on their perimeter shooters. Three of the last five baskets they've allowed have been from beyond. Now, here's Ball. Ten points for him. Williamson with it. Chamberlain picks him up. Six to shoot. And it's Williamson missing. Lakers trail by four. Three on three. And he gets the whistle. Two free throws coming up. He's gone one of one in the game so far from the line. The first one falls. And so Baylor nails both of them. Now, here's Ball. Kick out to Adams. Williamson outside. And foul on the shot. He'll shoot two at the free throw line. 270, 275, 280. Who cares? He's incredibly explosive. Williamson will wear you out in there. Los Angeles calls timeout. In addition to going over the game plan and making whatever necessary You're going adjustments. Going to battle all the way to the finish, you have got to be hydrated. Lakers trail by four. Looking for Chamberlain. He gets it there. It's a nice passing here by Los Angeles. They double-team Chamberlain. And that one drops for him. Chamberlain got 14 points for the game. Okay, listen. You got to body him up when he's in the paint. If you play off of him, then that's just two easy points. Pass to Ingram. Count the basket. He's got 13. Pretty much all of their buckets coming from inside the paint now. It's West with the drive. Adam, some nice D. Pelicans leading by four. Here's Williamson. It's rebounded by West. Stolen by Bloodsoe. To the inside. And Ball slams it in. A solid playmaker. Bledsoe has the vision to take advantage of an imbalanced defense. Pass to Goodrich. West outside. He gets that one to drop. He's now 5 of 12. 
and they didn't have much of a problem getting the ball into the post that time. Here's Ball. 12 points for him. Out left to the wing. Williamson in the post. It's good. Williamson's got four this quarter. They're finding lanes to the hoop now with consistency. Five buckets in a row from the paint. There's the three. And another three for the Lakers. And all of a sudden, that three puts them in striking distance, guys. He's had that shot working all night. That's the big reason this game is still so close. I mean, he's been lights out from long range. The Pelicans have gone 9 of 10 from the line, so making the most of their chances. And collectively, they're only about 73% as a unit right now. Pass to Goodrich. Let's it go with a three. Drains it from beyond the arc. Goodrich has got 12 points in just the second half. Here's Ball. And the game still closely contested as we end the third quarter. Pelicans ahead. Here's West. It's Goodrich on the wing. Over Bledsoe. Here's Chamberlain. Wilt Chamberlain cleaning up the mess. And I'll tell you, the combination of agility, wingspan, and stamina, very difficult to keep Wilt from scoring off those misses. And guys, all about hard work from this point on. They've worked hard to create that high-quality shot and then able to knock it down. And the refs are going to rule that unnecessary contact. It's a flagrant one foul. And Kevin, that's a pretty dangerous play right there. I mean, I don't like to see a player put an opponent in harm's way. As much as you just saw him do there, glad they pinned a, a flagrant on him. Yeah, you're right, Greg. The officials were all over it. They weren't going to let him off the hook that time. And here's West from the arc. Excellent D there from Ball. And Ball slams it in. Exceptional decision maker in transition situations. Oh, he's so awesome at reading the floor. And the Lakers call time here. Zion Williams, let's check in with David Aldridge, who's recording from the sidelines. Hey, Kevin, during that last break, I heard the Lakers coach talk to his team. He said, I love how we're shooting the basketball. You guys have been locked in from three. Just keep taking makeable shots. If you don't have it, pass it to the guy who does. Kevin? And the dunk by Williamson. Well, it's been this way all night. Williamson can beat you in so many different ways. Rest outside. Outside Baylor to take the lead. Los Angeles keeps it going. A new 14-second shot clock. Lakers passing it around. A second chance effort. Two free throws coming up, and they call the shooting foul. That free throw good from Chamberlain. That one misses. And Ingram has got the ball here for the New Orleans Pelicans. They lead by one. And obviously his momentum from the last game has carried over here tonight. Yeah, that's why he's hot. He's playing with a lot of confidence. That's why they're going to him with such consistency. He misses the free throw. And he's good on the second. Only down two now, but that miss might come back to haunt you. If they don't get a stop, it's back to a two-possession game. And it's ball penetrating. Snatched down by Chamberlain. We're about two minutes into the fourth quarter in this one. West outside. Just five on the clock. And the Lakers call time here. And he could tell his guys starting to wear down a little bit. Four on the shot clock. Mr. Clutch with a big-time bucket. 
And, and how about the lift? West gets on his shot, leaning back just a touch. Very difficult to contest. Fourth quarter of play, and we're about two and a half minutes through it right now. To the right side. Here's Adams. Some solid defense from Chamberlain. Nothing less than that kind of defense will cut it against him. That's just great work inside. Back to Baylor. Pass to Goodrich. Six on the shot clock to take the lead. And the Lakers tack on two more. And really not the quickest release, but a nice fluid stroke. And of course, Goodrich is a tremendous competitor. Oh, and he misses the dunk. One on one, fast break. Goodrich, that's good. Goodrich has got 22. I tell you what, I don't know what he did in the locker room, but he needs to do a little bit more of it because he's on fire. Ingram. Back to ball. Hangs on the trifecta. Taking on a bigger responsibility over time. I mean, you gotta respect Ball's tenacity for important moments. Rest outside. To the paint. Here's Chamberlain. But they recover it. Down low. Second shot opportunity. Deja vu as Elgin Baylor attacks the rim again. You love how each side has risen to the challenge throughout this one. You know, it seems like whenever one team scores, the other comes right back to the front court. So, racing the spotlight. Give Ball the opportunity to shine, and he'll welcome it over Ball. Mr. Goodrich over Bledsoe, and it falls over the rim and in. And you can't get a bigger bucket than that. That's why they put the ball in his hands. They thought they could count on him to make crucial shots. Here's Ingram. Guarded by Erickson. Ingram attacking. Got it! And what a sensational bucket to bring them within one. The young fella, Ingram, playing four. That's to Goodrich. Now West. to Goodrich to the inside stolen by Ball and now the Pelicans on the break the offensive rebound just two seconds between shot clock and game clock Mr. Williamson just five to shoot here's Adams can't cash in so it's Los Angeles taking the W in a close one this win, such a tremendous emotional boost for him. Really an accomplishment and crazy finish <laughs> to take a road game like this and simply deflate an entire building. Well, folks, that's going to do it for now. For Chris Webber.